Alright guys, this is gonna be really long. I have like a bag full of knickknacks that I just bought from Daiso. I'm probably gonna like rush through this just because everything in this is basically a dollar unless I say otherwise. Um, yeah, let's get to it. This is basically an easy sealer which is super cool like you open your chips and you want to reclose it you can like reseal it and i've tried it it does work it's a miracle worker random egg things i don't know oh this is the underwear that i was talking about from uniqlo it was suggested that i saw from a video and apparently they're really really comfy so yay random stuff i don't know shoe trees because you know shoe trees are life um microfiber face towels because to dry your face a brush to brush my hair a lint roller more egg stuff like if you want to make those egg rolls i haven't tried this i hope it works really good because i have tried making egg rolls like with just a circular pad and it's very very difficult Things that look like Bruno because Bruno's a little Frenchy and I love Frenchy stuff. I also have these socks that my sister found. <gasps> oh, so cute! More headbands. So like when I, oh god, when I um, want to wash my face, I can just like you know pull my hair back. You can see my whole face. More Frenchy stuff. I got this really cute monk. Monk. <laughs> I got this really cute mug. And it says gentle French bulldog. Girl, my dog is not gentle. A head scrubber. I don't know, in case if you have like dandruff, you can like scrub your head. Apparently it works really good, says my mom. Whew, I'm sweating, oh God. Random um, Gudetama items. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Gudetama. I just saw it and I was like, I need it. So I have like white out, I have a keychain, I have a bag, I have, I don't know what this is, but I thought it was cute, like little packages, more white out. I also have this, which I don't even know what it is, but it's cute. For my last item of Kutetama, I have like this little side purse. I got it from Universal Studios. It has like really cute bunny ears. And I just noticed this now. It has like a little earth egg coming out of its butt, which is really cute. I have these paw socks for Bruno because her claws are so sharp. So I got these socks and I have another pair somewhere, but I already put it on her. And then some bandanas for her that I got from Daiso as well. I also bought a bunch of pens from Daiso because I mean, come on, it's a dollar pen. Like literally this whole packet was a dollar. A dollar. So I got these. I got these cute strawberry scissors and it's just very compact and just very useful. Alright, so for some of the upcoming items that you're about to see, they're not from Daiso. I got these from different stores. This and this are some things that I got from this store called Line Friends. When we were at Harajuku, we went through Takeshita Street and then after we passed that, we saw like this big store that said um, Line Friends. I think that's what it was called. And I was like, oh my god, I have to go there. I just love um, how everything was in there. It was so, so cute. Definitely a store that I, I want to go back to. So I just bought like a bunch of random stuff. I got stickers. I had a, a pen somewhere. Oh, here it is. I bought this really cute duck pen. If you can see it, yeah. And then I also got like a little coin purse or whatever you want to use it for. And it's like a bear with a dinosaur over it. It's called Dino Brown. Oh, so cute. Next up, I got some Totoro um, oh god. I got more towels, but this one is Totoro themed. I got this one as well. Oh, it's backwards. I got this one as well. 
it's, I can't remember what it's called. I think we went to Akihabara for it. And this is um, another towel, but this is a dollar from Daiso. Next up is when I went to Nara. The whole city is like deer themed just because there is a lot of deer from that area. So I wanted to get something that can remind me of um, Japan, especially from that one location. So I got another coin purse. Oh God. Open it up, use it for, it doesn't necessarily have to be a coin purse, but super cute. I have this little deer eating um, the food that we would give it. And when you open it up, there's like a little mirror inside, which is super cool. And sis, the deer there, very aggressive. Really fun to feed, but if you don't give it food, they will nip you in the butt. <laughs> Next up, I have another coin purse, but it's something that I really, really wanted. We saw a store in Universal City Walk um, called Shaolin Jump, but um, I didn't buy it there. I ended up buying it at the train station in Tokyo, and this is it. Super cute. If you guys watch Naruto, you guys know exactly what this is. This is Naruto's um, coin purse. When you open it up, aww. oops. But I still have my yen inside there, as you can tell. Super cool. But definitely something really, really cute that I really love. My last items for my knickknacks is from Etude House. We went through Harajuku and um, Takeshita Street and I was like, oh my god, off the color. I bought this bubble tea moisturizer and when you take it out, it's in the shape of a bubble tea. Well, we call it boba in Hawaii. What do you call it? Leave it in the comments below. Lame. I also have more, um, what do you call it? Face washing hair things. What do you call this? Hair band. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so I got myself another hairband there. How much did I pay for this? Pretty expensive, but I was like, I'm here. Might as well spend money. I'm on vacation. because nothing can describe a place more than its food. So I got a lot of stuff and you're in for a ride or in for a treat. Get it? Cause food and... All right, let's move along. I don't know what it's necessarily called, but a lot of it says it's like for tea. Cause for example, it says the delicious taste for all people who are thinking of happy tea time. So I think it's bread meant for tea. But basically this is what it is. It's like this round circular thing and it comes in like a bunch of layers. I have two with me. This one is like a milk bomb kuchen. Bao kuchen. Probably saying this wrong. Most likely saying this wrong. But this is what it is. Yep, so I bought two of those because it looked delicious and very interesting and something that I don't see here but I saw a lot in Japan, so I was like, I have to try it. Next, I got a bunch of candy. This is so good. It literally tastes like the drink. I got a bunch of random stuff, because I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it. Bunch of stuff, random places. I got a lot of my candy from Daiso, so, I mean, dollar candy. What can, how can that be wrong? Like, what is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Got a lot of, Candy, more um, cow piss, cow piss. Got some Japanese haishu, which is pretty cool. And probably one of my favorite things that I found at 7-Eleven were these strawberry covered with chocolate candy. It is so good. I think you've probably seen it in my vlog already, but these are so good. 
so I had to get more of it. They were like sold out because of me, so thanks 7-Eleven. On to the next one. I got this candy from Daiso and I thought it was what my mom bought, but apparently it's not. So it, it tastes a little funny. It tastes like milk with like a cream with mint and it's a little bit of an acquired taste, but yeah, still, still good. Got these fries fried chips and these oh my god these are so good i should have bought more and this was from daiso too so it was only a dollar i should have bought more of these it was so good more random candy these are sweet potato and brown sugar chips these are really really good very crunchy so i already ate a bag of these they were bomb and this one i haven't opened kit kat um because aj loves this one so it was really good. It's basically like cocoa, dark chocolate. Yeah, cocoa. He told me it was like the best one he's ever tried. So I was like, okay, let me let me just buy a bunch of bags. And they're pretty good. Probably not my favorite, but they're still pretty good. All right, guys, the big bins are coming out. So I definitely bought a bunch of Kit Kats. Um, they had so much Kit Kats. I can't remember the store that I bought it from. But it was somewhere in um oh I'm I don't I'm probably gonna say this wrong. Ameyokocho. Ameyokocho. I'm pretty sure that's the place that it was called. In this specific store they had a bunch of Kit Kats and I had to buy them. So this one is I believe a raspberry one. A chocolate green tea raspberry one. It just looks so appealing. Like look at it. More chocolate. This is I think cranberry and almond chocolate as it looks like. This one looks like white chocolate and raspberry and cranberry. And I think that's all for the Kit Kats that I have at, with me at the moment. I also bought like a lot of gifts, like a lot of the um, food that I bought, it was also for like giving away to other people. I also have some green tea stuff that I'd give it a try. This is also, um, remember this thing here? So this thing in smaller pieces and strawberry flavored. I got a bunch of these here from the same store. And I just realized how little I have of these. These are so, so good. These are small packets of jelly inside of it. So basically within this bag, there's a bunch of these little packets inside of it. And they are so good. You just open it up and then it's like a bunch of like really, really good jelly. I don't know what... I would compare this to. They have something very similar to it. I'll probably have like a picture that can show you right here somewhere. I don't know. And like, yeah, it's really good. It's so good. AJ ate a whole bag without me knowing. Like, I had like four and he ate a whole bag to himself. I was so pissed. <sighs> Next drawer. So there's this place called Calbi and they make like fresh chips and all these like good fries and all that stuff or no I think it's just chips and I brought home a bunch of chips as well I remember my sister bringing them home the last time that she went to Japan and it was so good so this is a Tokyo limited edition chips I have some looks like Urukake or nori. It looks like nori. And then this is just like a bunch of random like chip fries. So basically, um, all of the packaging, you open it up like this, and then you'll have a bunch of little more packages inside of it. This is the packaging for this one here. And as you can tell, I've already ate a bunch. It's just really, really good. So I definitely recommend that place if you're going to Japan. It's called Cal. B, as you can see here, it will show. Another famous thing that um, is in Japan is called, um, what do you call it? Tokyo bananas. Tokyo bananas are basically this here, but this is a Disney edition. I saw it at Disney and I was like, oh my God, I have to get the Disney edition. This Tokyo banana, it has Mickey Mouse all over it. And this one comes with eight pieces. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know exactly what it looks like on the inside, but this is basically what the banana, uh, Tokyo banana looks like. Like a bread outside. It's really, really soft. And on the inside, it's like a very nice caramel cream. Next thing I have, it's 
not good anymore. It's all smashed up, but this is what it kind of looks like. We like to call it turtle bread because it reminds us reminds us of like a turtle's shell. They're so, so good. I'm gonna have to dump these because these aren't good anymore, but these are so bomb and you can get it from 7-Eleven and Lawson. They are so good. I definitely recommend trying this out. It ended up becoming like my favorite thing to eat in Japan and I ate it every single time we went to 7-Elevens and Lawson. It's a lot puffier. <laughs> it's definitely smashed up right now, but it's a lot puffier and a lot crispier. These ones are from Lawson's. I preferred the ones from 7-Eleven. Um, it, it just tasted a lot better. All right, guys. This is officially my last drawer that I have for food, and it's my ramen drawer. But before I get into that, I also have these little custard things. Petite pudding as it says here um, I haven't tried it yet and it looks pretty good so I'll probably try it very soon but this whole drawer here is basically filled with ramen I had a lot more literally it was like overflowing to the top so this is also from Ameo Kocho these were I want to say like a dollar it was fairly really cheap and um, my sister brought it home the last time and um, she didn't give me any I had to try it for my dad but it was so so good it tastes like something that you would eat here in Hawaii for like 10 bucks but these are literally instant ramen they basically come in a packet of two I just ate one last night this is what it looks like so the noodles are fairly um, it's pretty fresh, I would have to say. Probably wrong compared to like the instant noodles that we he have here in America. It's completely different. They come straight like this and then you just unwrap this. And literally once you put it inside the water, it just melts. It also comes with packets, but um, as I said, it's for two people. So I bought a bunch in a different flavor. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of them here. And remember now, I ate a bunch already and I still have a lot more to go. I'm trying to savor it as much as I can, but it's just so good. I don't think I have it anymore. Oh my god! I ate all the red ones. Me and AJ ate all the red ones and that was probably the best one that we had. If you want to get anything from Japan, definitely bring back some good ramen because there's nothing that can beat Japanese ramen. So. Yeah. All right, guys, that brings it to the end of my Japan haul. I hope you guys had a lot of fun going through all of this stuff with me. My room's like a total mess now, <laughs> but it's okay. If you guys have any questions, like if you guys want to know like where I got some specific things, um, hopefully I can give you guys the answer, but I hope you guys had some fun. If you guys ever go to Japan, hopefully you guys find some stuff that I found or maybe this has helped you out a bit, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed going through all my crap with me. Um, until next time, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm still fairly new to this game, but I hope I can bring you guys more videos like this. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye!